A Facebook post from North Carolina Pastor Stephen Fatik launched a social media firestorm on Monday between those who called it heresy and others who said it needed more context. The post was following a sermon which was delivered on Sunday from Luke 5 verse 1 to 11 about Jesus' calling of Simon Peter as a disciple. The sermon was the basis of a Facebook post that was later deleted, although some people had already shared the screenshots of the post on Twitter what the post said following jesus doesn't change you into something else it reveals who you've been all along what would it be like to see the you that god sees different people had mixed reaction towards this and this twitter user who shared this screenshot i'm sharing with you had this to say about the post Churchleaders.com, which is a popular website for resourcing ministers, noted the controversy and pointed to multiple tweets from critics. Fact check. Truly following Jesus turns you into nothing less than a new creation. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Tweeted Owen Strachan, provost and research professor of the theology of Grace Bible Theology Seminary. Strachan called Fatik a wolf and a false teacher. Fatik's deleted post apparently is a reference to a section of his sermon where he discussed Jesus telling Peter to cast his net into the water. Fatik during that section of the sermon was focusing on discipleship. And then he turns to Simon, who will later be named Peter. But he's already Peter, but he's still Simon. And the process of discipleship is not God changing you into something else. It's him revealing who you've been all along, Fatik said in the sermon. Talking to his congregation, Fatik said, Jesus sees Peter in every Simon. Jesus changes people, Fatik said. The Lord gave me a message today to preach to somebody who feels stuck where you started stuck where you started stuck in Simon. I'm a sinful man, you are, but he died for you, so that's what you were. Now you are a saint, a holy saint. You've still got some patterns that's called the flesh. Simon never leaves. You just have to tell him where to sit. Church leaders' Facebook page, some argued caution on criticizing Fatik. I'm not a Fatik apologist by any means, but do we give zero credence to the fact that he pulled the tweet down? One person asked. Perhaps he or his team recognized that without context, the message could be interpreted in a way that was not intended. Another person wrote, could it be that he's simply making the point that humans are created in the image of God and are being redeemed and restored to that? If so, that is a message people desperately need to hear. I doubt that he's denying that we are a new creation.